Hello to a miniature painting video. I just want to give a really quick and brief overview how you can resurrect and save your brushes and also just clean them between use. So what you need for that is you need some type of brush cleaner or brush soap. So I've here got uh, the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. It's a brand that's um, widely available, uh, but there are also other brands for this out there. So, and if you look into um, into this pot, it's just uh, yeah, a clear soap, uh, which also smells quite nice. And uh, what you do with it is after you've used uh, your brushes, I had to search for some um, uh, brushes that are not clean because I use that uh, soap almost every time I use the brushes. So um, after you used your brushes and um, Especially if you got um, paint into uh, the top of the bristles where they are uh, glued together, um, then they tend to spread. So you can see this in an extreme form here. This is one of my dry brushes. So of course uh, that looks uh, very bad. Um, if I got it to focus, yeah. So uh, that looks really bad. And let's see what we can do with this brush. And also uh, first I want to show it on a normal brush. So what you do is you just um, dampen the brush with some water. And now you can uh, really get uh, the soap into the bristles. So I just uh, tend to, um, you've got a little bit uh, moisture on the soap and I uh, swirl it around a little bit. And the other thing you can do um, to get a nice tip is you can roll the um, yeah you can roll the tip of the brush in the soap and as you can see here already um, there is some dirt coming out and it sticks to the um, soap and you can take that and just uh, put it on a piece of paper then rinse the brush and repeat until it's clean. Um, you can also put the water a little bit out on the paper so that you uh, didn't have so much water on the uh, soap. Yeah, and then it's just a rinse and repeat and until you're satisfied with the brush. It's also um, a good thing if you at the end just take some of uh, the brush soap, roll the brush into a nice tip uh, that's perhaps not so nice so i can do better than that so and if you let it uh, dry like this then um, the brush um, remembers the form that you have left uh, it in and uh, before you paint the, in the next session you just rinse uh, briefly uh, the soap out of the brush and it will stick to this uh, nice tip form um, for the next session. So that's perhaps um, one of the tips I can give you with this uh, brush cleaner. And uh, now let's see what we can do for this uh, dry brush. I'm uh, also curious what we can do with a, a brush cleaner to this dry brush. Uh, perhaps I have to rinse and repeat a, a little bit more than on the other brush, but yeah, you see there's not much paint coming out it. So uh, as a dry brush, I think uh, it won't uh, get back into a tip or something, but uh, you can uh, still get uh, the dried paint out of the brushes quite nicely with this. So as I mostly uh, brush with uh, lighter colors, you won't uh, see uh, the paint on, on the soap very much, but let's see. Oh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, so it's not a tip really, but uh, I think uh, you even uh, get it. Uh, if if I would spend some more time with it, you could even perhaps resurrect uh, such an old and um, yeah abused brush. Uh, this also is very extreme because I also use uh, a white glue with it. So I think um, it won't come back to life. Um, but uh, with every other brush, it's really a good investment uh, to have some of this uh, brush cleaner and, and um, also um, 
preserver at hand uh, uh, and um, keep uh, the soap open so that it can dry out before you close it so that you don't get mold on it. And that's just the tip I want to give you. Um, be good to your brush, uh, clean them between sessions or uh, just do it uh, like weekly or something and you will have uh, much more fun with your brushes and uh, they will hold uh, a lot longer for you uh, while doing the hobby. So thank you for watching and bye.